Last week we had a major battle between the little known Jancic knot and the knot with the coolest name, the Eye Crosser. The winner, the Eye Crosser, though both knots did extremely well. If you missed last week's show, here's how you tie the Eye Crosser. The first step is to take the line and run it through the hook eye twice. Then bring about eight inches up the main line, go parallel, fold it back toward the hook, and then take the tag in and run around the parallel lines once, twice, and then with all knots, moisten with some saliva and pull tight. Now that's the eye crosser knot, and it's a super strong knot. It's used by a lot of southern bass fishermen for pulling big bass out of heavy cover. Now the competitor this week is a real unique knot called the Duncan Loop or the Uni Knot. And what makes this matchup so interesting is the knots are tied essentially the same way. Here's how you tie the Uni Knot. The first step is to take the line and run it through the hook eye, draw it back up about six or eight inches, and fold it back toward the hook. And then you wrap the line three times around the parallel lines, moisten and draw tight. Now that's the uni knot. Now if you're watching carefully you'll notice that tying the eye crosser and the uni are very similar. The only difference is on the eye crosser you go through the hook eye twice and on the uni or Duncan loop you only go through once. So the question is, is two better than one? Let's find out. Now I've already got my trusty knot testing machine set up. We've got the Duncan Looper Uni Knot here, the Challenger on the right. We've got a reigning champ, the Eye Crosser Knot on the left. Now the question is, is two better than one? Let's find out. Boom, Uni Knot. Look at that impressive, 19.2, that's excellent. But again, the Eye Crosser wins. It's gonna remain our champ. Hey, I've used the Uni Knot in the past, but I'm gonna make the switch to the Eye Crosser in these situations. So how did these knots perform with the other lines? Well, both the Duncan Loop and the Eye Crosser did very, very well with the fluorocarbon. However, in the case of Fireline, neither knot did very well. They both slipped out. There are better knot options for Fireline. So there you have it. The Eye Crosser continues to roll, but will it roll past next week? We're pitting it up against one of the best knots out there, the Palomar. In fact, it's my personal favorite. Also, if you want to practice these knots at home, go to fishingclub.com. We have all the instructions right there for you. Knot wars, because no good fishtail ends with a broken knot.